The new Canamat Aerosol means you can benefit from the extraordinary features of the Canamat system when manufacturing aerosol cans too. The machine's design also includes innovative adaptations to improve efficiency, quality and performance, as well as the potential for downgaging. In the example shown here, the machine is equipped with five stations, each fitted with six spindles. The aerosol can is processed in two die-necking stations, followed by a flanging station, and a seaming station for the aerosol bottoms, as well as a seaming station for the aerosol domes. In the first and second die necking stations, the body is necked at both ends, in this case with different necking diameters. Die necking is suitable for the precise necking of thin and hard double reduced material, the material for the down gauging of aerosol cans. During the necking process, the can body is centered and clamped between the conical sections of the upper and lower necking sleeves. The inner tools then enter the centered can body and the necking sleeves perform the actual necking process by means of their working stroke. Afterwards, the necking sleeves and the inner tools return to their initial position. If blank aerosol cans are being manufactured, an oil device for two-stage necking is integrated in the infeed belt. Lubricant is only applied to the necking section outside the body with controlled dosing. The can bodies driven by a belt rotate along a felt strip and receive a lubricant film at the subsequent necking station. In the spin flanging station, modified spin flanging rollers are used. The spin flanging rollers are driven in the normal manner and are fitted beneath a conical disc. The upper and lower tools rotate in opposite directions and do not exert any torque on the body. This innovative flanging tool has been especially developed for the use of hard and thin double reduced material as well as small can diameters. The tools perform a working stroke during which the flange is sequentially formed by the flanging rollers. The conical disc of the tools reduces the polygons formed during flanging. The aerosol bottoms and domes are conveyed to the machine by an overhead transport system using a long stack unit for convenient loading. In the machine, the magazines for aerosol bottoms and domes are equipped with driven feeding rollers to obtain a controlled level weight which ensures the reliable destacking of the ends. The bottom ends are placed on the feeding plate, which applies the bottom ends to the respective bodies at the transfer star wheel. The driven, cam-controlled seaming chuck executes a stroke during which both the bottom and the body are centered and clamped on the seaming chuck. Seaming of the bottom ends is done by two operations in the same station using the sophisticated Canamat roll seaming devices, which include the easy setting of the seaming rollers. In the first operation, the end is curled around the flange to form the seam by up to eight revolutions. All seaming rollers are designed in twin shape, which doubles the lifetime. The second seaming operation compresses and straightens the seam in up to four revolutions. During the upward stroke of the seaming chug, 
the body is lifted off the chuck by a spring-loaded knockout and passed on to the transfer star wheel. The aerosol domes are directly applied to the bodies by the D-stacker fitted above the transfer star wheel. When entering the top seaming station, the aerosol dome is centered and clamped with the body by the conical profile of the knockout and by the chuck of the lower die. Roll seaming is performed in two operations in the last station. The cam controlled knockout centers and feeds the aerosol can, while the lower die performs an upward stroke and clamps the aerosol can. The seam is formed by up to 8 revolutions in the first operation and by up to 4 revolutions in the second operation. After seaming is finished, the aerosol can is lifted off the chuck during the downward stroke of the knockout. The Canamat aerosol includes an automatic can height adjustment for manufacturing different can heights without the need to change any parts. Here we see an example shown in real time of the can height being changed from 300 mm to 157 mm. Complete height changeover is controlled by the machine controller. The specification for the new can height has to be chosen. All stations are simultaneously moved to the new height at the touch of a single button. Automatic height changeover also includes the magazine for the aerosol domes, as well as the infeed and discharge feed section of the machine. This also means that no tools are needed for adjustment. The target position has been reached in one minute and the machine is ready to start production with the new can height immediately. Thanks to the extremely fast automatic height adjustment, the extra time for height change is negligible and need not be taken into account for the Canamat in production planning. The Canamat Aerosol is a machine with a host of innovative features and automatic can height adjustment to improve the efficiency, quality and performance of your production. Down gauging aerosol cans is reality.